Well, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas and happy holidays, my friends. So, it's almost the end of the year. It's that holiday season, and it seems like the perfect time to watch a holiday-themed film. Now, <clears throat> when you think classic Christmas movies, what comes to mind? A Christmas Story? National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? Home Alone? Maybe? Uh... Well, even planes, trains, and automobiles, and even for the more obscure folks, maybe like Die Hard, or Silent Night, Deadly Night, or Black Christmas. But no, today, on this Christmas Eve, I want to bring attention to a underrated and still surprisingly highly entertaining Christmas holiday gem, being Ernest Saves Christmas. Who? Way back in the 80, late 80s and early 90s, uh, Jim Varney uh, played a character named Ernest P. Worrell. He was in a series of uh, commercials that uh, took the world by storm. I think probably the first one started airing during the Super Bowl, where Ernest P. Worrell is taunting the poor unfortunate Vern and just getting in his way and getting in Vern's way and just ruining his life in these little 30 second visions which were pretty funny and really caught on at the time with catchphrases like you know what I mean and, and things like that. Uh, Jim Varney maybe for some people is probably best known as the voice of as Slicky Dog in Toy Story uh, 1 and 2 and uh, he also played Jack Clampett in the uh, Beverly Hillbillies uh, movie version. Uh, back in the early 90s. But uh, if anything, it's Ernest P. Worrell where Jim Varney really skyrocketed and was his claim to fame. Now, uh, 87 or 88, I believe, uh, we uh, saw the arrival of Ernest Goes to Camp. That was the first theatrically released Ernest movie. And there are a total of four Ernest films that came out. Ernest Saves Christmas being the second one, and then there was, that was followed by Ernest Goes to Jail, and uh, Ernest Scared Stupid. And uh, then that was followed by just a series of straight-to-video Ernest releases. But these first four films are all pretty entertaining, silly, fun family entertainment that even adults can enjoy. And Ernest Saves Christmas is my favorite Ernest film. Not just that because I found it pretty entertaining, but it is actually a really good kind of like warm-hearted fun entertaining christmas film it really without getting religious or anything it really encapsulates the spirit of christmas in regards to santa claus and the story is that santa claus is looking for a replacement and uh he arrives in orlando sunny warm orlando florida to find his uh his replacement and fortunately for him he comes across Ernest P. Worrell who helps him get there get to where he needs to get now uh, <clears throat> obviously chaos and and uh, chaotic humor ensues but it's just the feel of the whole movie I was just had a that was just I had a warm fuzzy feeling I was just smiling throughout this whole film I haven't seen this movie in decades I really don't remember the last time I watched this and it's currently on Netflix streaming, so I highly recommend watching it. And uh, it just caught on right away, just from not just Ernest P. Worrell, but just the way Santa Claus is portrayed, and just how how Santa Claus has to pass on the baton. And I love little nods, like uh, Santa Claus, brilliantly played by Douglas Seal, and uh, when he arrives and he runs into adults, and then he's like uh, like mentions, I was like, oh, I remember that. Back in the day, you wanted this, and and the adult is like, huh? How how do you know that? Or or he comes across children, and they see him, and they know that's Saint Nicholas, that's the real Santa Claus, and it gives him a nice little wink. And there's like, a, it's just a very entertaining uh, way that John Cherry, the director, and who uh, who also did a number of uh, almost all of the Ernest movies. Uh, pulls it all together into this really entertaining Christmas family film that 
Sure, in hindsight, you might, uh, there's suspension of disbelief on the insanity that Ernest does, but there's like some laugh out loud moments. But obviously there's one key element that you might find that might seem come off as a little awkward dealing with a runaway teenager who, who suddenly shacks up with Ernest out of the blue. You're like, um, yeah, looking at it now with adult eyes, that seems kind of odd, but... Ah, whatever. This this was the '80s, and this is just family entertainment. Don't get caught up in those little details. Just use your suspension of disbelief and just go with it and believe, just like as you would believe in Santa Claus himself. But just the whole story and how it all unfolds with uh, Santa Claus trying to find his replacement and who he finds his who his replacement is, and just how everything comes together in the end. It's just a a totally feel good Christmas movie. That uh, family Christmas movie that I feel is underrated and uh, overlooked so i highly recommend Ernest saves christmas i actually i did see this one in the theater i think i've only seen two Ernest films in the theater Ernest saves christmas and Ernest scared stupid and this one uh, i think i probably gave back in 1988 uh a uh, seven out of ten and i'll stick to that it's still a seven out of ten still Still entertaining, still fun. It's very, for me, it was quite nostalgic and still entertaining. Uh, Jim Varney was a great character, and and Ernest P. War was a great character, and Varney was a great actor, and he really sold a lot of the humor, as silly as it was. So, Ernest Saves Christmas. I highly recommend as an alternative to the usual choices of Christmas movies on the, uh, for the holiday. Not just this holiday, but for any holiday in the future, that Ernest Saves Christmas is worth a look. So, have you seen Ernest Saves Christmas? Have you heard of Ernest P. Worrell? What do you think of Ernest Saves Christmas? If that's not your favorite Christmas film, what is? I'm very curious to find out, so please comment below. If you like my review, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do, so you can stay on top of my reviews as they come in. Not just my regular reviews, but also more of my Throwback Thursday reviews. So, until next time, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. Ho, ho, ho.